What's good guys? So I'm back. Um, I just uploaded a video. It's my nastiest um, healthy foods I've ever eaten video. Just a few minutes ago. Um, it didn't take that long to upload, thankfully, because other videos took like a while, probably like an hour or two to upload. Um, probably, I think I've had like one video that took like three or four hours to upload. Um, but anyway, so that's besides the point. So welcome to another installment of Kitchen Mishaps where I talk about some of the bad things that occurred inside of uh, either your kitchen, like the kitchen here at home, or ones at work. Today's episode is basically on um, occurs at work. Um, now, there is a setup to by each of these mishaps. And I'll tell you guys how this one goes. So this was a few months ago. Um, and this since then, this has happened probably three times, three or four times. Now, I work at McDonald's. And for anyone who doesn't know, McDonald's does things a certain way. Well, it's different from every other restaurant. And so some things there are basically as backwards. Um, now, for anyone who else... Anyone else who works at McDonald's, don't get offended because this doesn't, this isn't, this has nothing to do with like anybody's ego or anybody's like uh, other, other person's businesses. But, um, one day I, I was like, I was closing and I'm, I'm closed right now, but I got to work and first thing that happened was I tripped over a trash can. Now, this don't don't get me wrong. This pissed me off. Like it pissed me off a lot. Um, the part that made me mad, cause yeah, it's a trash can. Like it's a little trash can. You put like trash in there. If you're over by the grill, though, the trash can sometimes might be a little bit different. By different, I mean it might have some stuff in it that normally shouldn't be in there. This particular time, it had, um, it had grease in it, and. It was a lot of grease so i tripped over the trash can and the first thing that popped out was the grease a bunch of like um 10 to 1 tray liners that were like completely greasy um a couple of quarter patty bags like empty bags and a bunch of other stuff and i stepped in that grease and i was immediately i got mad and so I'm like, okay, I gotta clean this up. I hate whoever put this stuff in here. Um, so I cleaned it up, and I didn't. I wasn't expecting anything else to go wrong. But whenever I go to work, I always have like low expectations because it's kind of like a, the norm there, where like nothing is probably gonna go right. But I digress. So fast forward to about an hour or two later. And it's like seven o'clock. Keep in mind when when this like the trash can part happened around five or so. Um, it's about seven o'clock now. We keep the the mayo, the tartar sauce, and the mac sauce in these like caulking guns. Why caulking guns? I have no idea. But some of my coworkers decide that um we're gonna keep them in these large white like clear containers and stand them up i just want to tell you sometimes law of gravity and physics don't really like make sense but the neurons in people's brains don't make sense either now now one neuron might not connect to another neuron i'm being a smart ass but basically they had the container with all three of these caulking guns at like the furthest part of the the top of the sound station. When I tell you I, I was very mad when this happened. So first, my one of my coworkers, she's standing over by the um by the sound station. She goes to pull out the mail. This container is on the, the opposite edge so it's not like right close to us it's on the other side like the, the the very far wall of it is touching the edge of this the sound station the top part of it this fell it fell 
the little trigger part for the mail clicked. And first, all three of the Kalki Guns fell. Like, it tipped over, it fell, and Mac Sauce and Tartar Sauce went everywhere on the ceiling, all over the grill, the front of the grill, the front of like the sound station, on the sound station. And the mail landed on me. And I'm looking at her and I, at one point like in my in the back of my mind I'm like I really want to hit you right now because I always tell them like it's a bad idea to put this like this. It's a bad idea to put this container with all three guns like this. But no no, because sometimes people, it goes over people's heads, and they don't realize, like, this is going to be a bad idea. Keep in mind, this happened three times. It already happened. It's happened three times since then. So, my pants have mail on them. My shirt has mail on them. My apron has mail on it. And I'm mad. Like, I'm mad. I have max sauce on my arm. And, like, not only did it, like, um hit the sound station itself like the lower level of the sound station um but one of the caulking guns the male flew out of the caulking gun and it started um it started leaking on the floor and it, i was stepping in it trying to like move out the way i was mad i was very mad and just like the the way this happened pissed me off so, she don't have nothing on her, but I got all this stuff on me, and I'm just like, I hate you, like, I hate you so much right now, but that happened, so, the next thing that happened, and I really, really, really just like, this, it made me, like, kind of bitter that whole night. Like, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I was pissed off, and I didn't want to talk to anybody. But I was on the drive. I was stuck on the drive through. Well, customers were making my night. Like, they don't get me wrong. Like, whenever I do the drive through customers always make my night. Because it's like, um, they always tell me that I should do, like, radio or something. Because I have, like, that kind of voice. Compared to, like, like previous years. Because I was younger. Or I matured since then. And... So, my voice is, like, way deeper than, like, previous years. And so, it may not seem like that because the camera doesn't, like, really portray it accurately. Or, not, not really portray it, but the sound doesn't, like, have, like, a true true voice. But, um, so, uh, customers always tell me that, like, oh, you should do radio. Or you should do, like, a, like an airline kind of thing, like, be a pilot announcer something like that something along those lines well behind the like in the in the background i'm pissed off but this is making my night um i go to the back and i had like the sanitizer water running i had that running and one of my co-workers same co-worker like i, I cleaned all this stuff off me and you see like the like the the I guess the stains and all that from like the Mac sauce and the mail and all that. Um, the same person was in the back. And I had I always like do this where I like if it's busy, I'll forget like the the um the soapy water's running and like the sanitizer water's running or the power power wash water is running and the sanitizer water is running. Either one that because I only have one going at at a time. Well, I forgot that the sanitizer was running, and she was back there, and I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm like, I got it running right now. Can you, like, turn it off when, when you're leaving back here, because I have a car. Well, I come back, like, eight minutes later, and the sanitizer water is running, and I'm, like, getting madder. I'm getting madder, because I was like, oh, like, I asked you to, you know, turn it off. Turn it off. No. So, things just, like, get worse. Progressively worse. Because I noticed, um, like, we keep the bacon on these, like, bacon trays. And she threw those in, like, the, the soapy water. I have this, like, rule. Like, a general rule. I, well, if there's, like, um, 
food or anything like that inside of like the trays i throw them out i throw the, not not the trays but like the food that's in it like it can be sausages or whatever um because sometimes they'll do that where they'll like leave like eggs sausages like um patties um nuggets just leave it in the tray they'll take it out of the cabinet and leave it in the tray and just take it to the back and leave it for to get washed well that wasn't the case she had like six or seven trays in the back that had food it just threw them inside of the water and i was pissed off i was pissed off because not only did she like leave that she left off like the, the sanitizer water on now normally i turn it off but i ended up turning it back on because i was like okay i'm coming back real quick to like make sure the water didn't overflow well i that real quick didn't it, it took me a while to actually get back because of how many cars i had so she left the sanitizer water on and i'm like oh my god and it like it didn't click that all these trays were inside my damn fresh made water um so i'm looking at the water i'm like are you fucking kidding me like are you serious right now like all this stuff that i'm like you you see the water is running but you don't turn it off that made me mad this is making me mad i'm looking at her like i just really don't, don't want to like talk to you right now like you are making my night horrible it, it progressively got worse because I, I went and dumped the water out and keep in mind I hate like having to like dump fresh made water out because I'm like I hate stuff floating in the water in general like I don't want to put my hands in water that has stuff floating in it because of one as creepy and two I have um I have standards on how I do the dishes at work because this is how my coworkers do the dishes. Sometimes, like they'll put the the um the dishes inside. It doesn't matter if they have like food or whatever in them. They'll just throw them in the water and then just wash like that. I cannot do that. I think that's stupid. That's bougie. That is disgusting. You don't have any standards by that at that point. But yeah, so I um. I jump out the water, I go and like pick all like the nuggets and all that stuff out, throw it inside of this all soggy stuff into the trash can next to the sink. And I'm rinsing out the sink because it's like grease from like the um the hamburger patty trays. Just like thick, thick grease. In like around the um the sink. And there's crumbs all over the sink, and I'm just like, I'm annoyed, beyond annoyed. And so, I'm, I'm, I'm totally, like, wound up as, like, I, nothing else can happen. Nothing else bad can happen. Nothing can go wrong for the rest of the night. Fast forward to 11 o'clock. That's a four-hour difference. And so far, like, all my coworkers, like, throughout the night have been throwing boxes. Like, just box, 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 box. Empty boxes. Typically, like, when, like we throw away, but not really throw away, because there's, like, a, a separate trash can for, like, trash and, like, boxes. With the boxes, we're supposed to break them down. And, you know, put them in neatly into the little trash can thing. Well, none of my coworkers are doing that. And so I have to like straighten all these trash cans or straighten the trash, um, the boxes up. I have to straighten up all these trash bags and I'm getting mad because I'm like, I at one point was like, you know, what? whatever, fuck it. I'm not going to like throw this stuff away. I'm just leave it how it is because they literally did this all night. No one's breaking any boxes down. No one's throwing trash away. Like they left all these bags on the outside of the stupid trash can. And it's just like, it made me mad. So, I, um, initially, I just worked up, like, the whole, like, I put it in the back of my mind, like, fuck it, I'm just going to, like, straighten it up real quick. I come back to the sink, and not only is there, like, dishes in the sink, like, there's food inside of them, um, they put, like, the baskets in there. I just made more fresh water, and I put... I had like um I don't know like I just had like this like really like I hate you kind of moment 
And I saw one of my coworkers walk back there and she was, she had all these trays in her hand and she's throwing them in the water. I was like, are you kidding me right now? Like you see, you know, damn, I just made this water and you're just going to throw it in there. Like just willy nilly, throw it in there. And she said, just disregard the water. Like just put, put, put your whatever to the side and just do the dishes. Are you fucking kidding me? Like you're gonna sit here and tell me that the whole night that that's all that you cared about was just like taking the trays out of the cabin. You don't want to like dump them out or like put nothing in the waste buckets, nothing like that. No, no. So I told her go away. I told her go away. I will go get the containers my damn self. And initially, I just like I got mad. Like I I was mad. I was fed up. Um. It's nights like that that piss me off, and it's like there are some times where I'll go to work and I'm like the like the lowest, like my um, how do I put this? I have low levels of expectation when I go to work, but um, yeah, so that that happened, that happened. This is, I I want to say, um like January or so January and it's just happened it's just stuff like this keeps happening but um yeah so that is my kitchen mishaps episode I know some of this is like if if you were in my situation would you be frustrated comment down below let me know if you guys would be frustrated um let me know if you also have standards when it comes to like certain types of cleaning and uh as well as please hit that like button if you did enjoy it as well as subscribe um there's so many things that go wrong in a restaurant and like i don't know like customers don't really know like the gist of like you know some stuff but you don't know like the gist of it like there's a lot that could go wrong in the span of like six or seven hours in a restaurant even like within minutes something could go wrong but um yeah that's it so I'm David Action Jackson coming at your lab representing Action Jack Fitness. I will see you guys in my next video. I don't know what my um topic is going to be, but um I got a couple ideas of the things I want to do. Like um I think I'm gonna like do some like YouTube video research and uh, <laughs> and. Look, probably um, do like a dumbest fitness statements I've heard on YouTube. Um, and this is like, if I had to like do a little video like that, it's going to be a very long video or like broken up into parts because I've heard some pretty stupid statements on YouTube uh, from people who have, have no reason to be messing around with fitness in general. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm out.